Hooray. Where's my T board? Uh, I gotta pull that up. Clear the chat. Alright. I am launching your server. Whee! So I uh, I learned a thing, actually, before that. Good morning, everybody. This is Hob and Cheese and Gamer Girl was going to join us today. We have a we have an echo. Echo, 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 echo. I echo less now. Ah, yes, I echo less now. So, <laughs> Gamer Girl was going to be joining us today, but we discovered that her monitor is busted and that she cannot play the game until we replace it. So. Uh, today it is just going to be Cheese and I, but hopefully within the next couple of weeks we'll be able to get Gamer Girl to uh, to join us in our spaceship fuckery. Uh, you'll notice that I am sitting in a chair in a very small room. Uh, Cheese and I talked about it, and we decided that we are going to rebuild the base. So I did a little bit of work offline, which normally I wouldn't do. Uh, but I wanted to get this set up before we got going today uh, on building an oxygenated medical room for respawn purposes uh, because we're actually going to strip the whole base down to its bones. <clears throat> so once cheese comes on, we'll get uh, we'll get to going. Still stuck at the loading screens? Oh, yeah. Alright. Well, I'll give everybody a very quick tour of our little itty bitty oxygenated hole. Because <laughs> it is really itty bitty. Uh, air vent, congratulations. Chairs, yay! We have a sign with uh, things to do. We have a medical room, which actually recharges our oxygen now. Takes it a minute. And then we've got a little cargo container so that we can store stuff. Attached to this we have a new oxygen generator, which is uh, completely independent of the rest of the base. has its own ice supply, uh, which I went out and I, I gathered a fair amount so that we would have a, a steady supply of that for a little while. Um, on our lovely base rebuild project board, uh, you'll see that we have two astronauts listed currently. This will change once Gamer Girl is able to join us. Uh, right now, the rebuild project consists of a control center, some production, uh, materials acquisition, uh, air vents, and uh, let's see here air and ventilation system, uh, cargo and material transport system. We intend to actually keep those separate. Uh, and uh, salvage operations, which will consist of both uh, Cheese and I going out and taking a look at things. And welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully we don't like to death while going out and exploring the mineral uh, asteroids like last time. <laughs> well, we have oxygen now, so it will be less likely. And let's see here. So we have, uh, I'm going to throw my helmet on real quick here. Oh, hey, look, I see cheese. So open this door. This is a very, very small airlock. This is just about the smallest airlock. And once the door is closed, there is absolutely no oxygen in there. So there's no need to decompress it. Uh, let's see here. So I close this door and ventilate this. Good. Open the interior door. Ah, cheese. You're kind of sort of just floating there. Are you still loading? See, I don't see things yet. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay. Almost. I got to choose the uh, respawn point at least. An escape pod for your ship. Um, cheese, are you actually watching the uh, the chat? I thought I'd bring those up. Okay. So we had a question of what blocks would be needed to build an escape pod for the ship. Um, really, you need uh, some kind of a cockpit or a chair, uh, some source of oxygen, which if you have a cockpit, uh, it can be uh, oxygen bottles, which if you look, I have two of those in my inventory. 
um, and then uh, some form of propulsion. Now, depending on what you're doing, if you're trying to connect it to, say, like a large ship, um, then you're going to want to build small blocks and have uh, some kind of a way to anchor to the large ship. In the case of... Uh, in the case of that, really you can't merge small ships and large ships, so the only way to do that is through like landing gear, and then some kind of a merge block on the landing gear. Um, that that would be about the only way that you could do it. Escape pods are kind of a, an oddball one-off, I guess. I don't know that there's a, a real clean way to build an escape pod. you have any ideas, Cheese? Oh, hey, look, you're moving now. Yay! <clears throat> yeah, with I'd say a mix of the hangar door for the if you wanted to have a porthole for it, and then the the hardest part would be getting it onto the large ship, like you were saying. It can't merge yeah. in like you want, would normally do with other things. Probably we have a mod I think for like a mag lock, don't we? I think that would be really useful. Uh, it on the back. did I put that on? I don't remember if I put that on. I think I might have. Let me check. Something like that would be really useful. Oh yeah, yeah. So the this maglock, uh, this maglock surface tractor holding beam mod is actually this is really really cool. Uh, what it is is a super slim, uh, slim uh, landing gear basically. So it it doesn't doesn't protrude from the ship. Yeah, I, w I would say that this right here, this mod right here, the Maglock uh, surface mod, and that is... Oh, who did that one? Um, that is Spectre Industries, Maglock surface. This mod right here creates very, very thin landing gears that would work really, really well for anchoring. Um, and then the other thing that I would suggest doing is the... Uh, the small ship mod pack which actually allows you to put large blocks on small ships uh, so you'd have to functionally create a large small ship out of um a, to create that landing pod that would probably be the best way to do it so cheese if you want to come check this out i don't know what you're doing up there but <laughs> I have things to show you. Go need steel plate. Ah, yes, that's true. All right, so close the interior door. Oh, you can actually use the control over here. You know, the spiffy one that we're going to tear apart. And womp womp. air pressure off. Everybody's got helmets on, right? Oh, good. And outer door open. So what I did is I actually I just built our little cubby hole right into this side right here there's a nice little door there's only room for one person in here okay maybe there's room for two I lied <laughs> it's uncomfortable but all right and oh, look at that. all right so here we are very lovely baseboard so that we know what we're building as I said we've got a medical center right behind us which provides oxygen we have handy dandy chairs and our ventilation so that's kinda of where we're at I really I just I built a very small hole is all I need oh something interesting I figured out but quite by accident actually so oxygen vents can be used to access the inventory and transport items. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. <laughs> it's, but it was Maybe funny. Just go onto the storage, or uh, well, you can actually you have to manually move them, but they will go to storage or wherever it is that you want to put them. So like you can you can't like double click drop them, but you can pull stuff out and put stuff in. Um, so something I, I had thought of, where are you going, Cheese? Just look. Oh, 
Something I had thought we might want to do is we might want to expand the uh, the solar panel array again, uh, since eventually we're going to knock the reactor off of the uh, off of the base, at uh, least temporarily. Yeah. So that might be one of the first things that we do is throw some batteries. There's actually there's a really nice space yeah. up here that we can tuck several batteries into. And we can we can hollow this out a little bit if we need to. And then I was thinking about it. I, I kept calling. Maintain that uh, this little cubby area is like a panic room, or are we going to tear that down once we get the rest of the base built? Oh, and I'm gone. Oh, you hit a corner, did you? Got to watch out for those corners. I keep telling you that. Um, anyhow, my, my thought process was that we would maintain this cubby as a medical room uh, and maybe expand it once the base is actually built. Sounds good to me. So I can go off some of this conveyor stuff already in then. Well, and my goal is to keep this, this oxygen system, um, I mean, we could keep it independent. I don't really care one way or the other. Um, but we can definitely connect it up to whatever cargo slash, uh, um, production system you build as our temporary once we get this torn down. Um, I also thought that we might want to, um, disconnect this oxygen tank without actually removing it because it's practically full and migrate it off to uh, another oxygen tank. Maybe empty it out, store it somewhere else, I don't know. We'll have to look at that, but right now I'm actually going to turn oxygen off inside the base. Don't need that no more. <clears throat> That's right. Hey, is this that mining ship that we thought was lost? Uh, no, actually, that, uh, we, uh, we got, uh, Gamer Girl on very briefly so that we could take a look at how her gameplay was going to be, and I turned off the delete respawn ships and permadeath for the server, so this oh, is okay. actually, this is what she showed up in. I thought I was going crazy for a second. Nope. Negative Ghost Rider. <clears throat> All right, so let's see here. That's the medical room. So we're gonna turn that off. Actually, depressurize. Oh. You opened the door, didn't you? <laughs> I wasn't sure where you were in the process. Ah, it's cool. It's not that big of a deal. It's all coming down soon. I'll get started on these uh, solar panels. All right, I'm gonna grind down the uh, med bay that's in here. Oh, inventory equals full. Um, that's gonna be a problem. Why was my helmet off? Oh, I must have taken it off by accident. Go me. <laughs> SMRT. So I'm going to have to keep today kind of short. Um, we've got a couple of errands that we've got to run. Um... But, uh... That'll be me next week. Okay. No worries. No worries at all. Do we just want to continue to use this, uh... This storage and production for now? We, I mean, we can leave it connected. It's not... It's not a thing. If we want to get these solar panels up first... Uh, uh yeah. Because okay. uh, it looks like we're actually going to need platinum.
never mind, it's just not in process.